This is a um, nice refuge from Get Skilled. This is the live broadcast from the AAC tournament uh, from the loser bracket, the first round of the loser bracket. Um, today we are playing HK against Dogs of War. Uh, both of them have one more chance to uh, get maybe to the finals if they're good. I think now I'm spectating myself. This map is actually uh, a new map for the tournament. Uh, this one has, uh, compared to a position, it only has one zone in the middle. It's kind of a fortress. And the start rush, we are just about still catching it. HK is playing east. Dogs of War is west. Right at the beginning, it's very important what happens. Um, Dogs of War brings up the M1 Abrams tank right now. Sidon is up with the RPG, SPG 9 Jeep. You can see the spawn. This is actually brings all three jeeps as very aggressive towards the zone. Dogs of War is trying to keep the spawn from being taken out. Mitchell is inside this, the small farm to the east. It's looking like as if HK is just about to take the zone. They've they're they're pulling here like a two UAZ tactic here up at the zone. Very aggressive play. The spawn is probably positioned. I can't see the spawn at the moment, but it's probably positioned somewhere just over the over the hill from the from the fortress. Jolt can can just about maybe snipe one one of the UAZ gunners down there. No, he's taken out by Kitki. <laughs> ah, but he's hurt. Uh, the M1, the M1 just took him out. I think, yeah. But now the M1 is under fire as well. It's probably a side on with his. SPG-9 GPS. Sidon is, is, has taken out the M1. It's useless right now. This is a really important development. Right at the beginning of the map. Oh, he just missed them out of his sights. They don't, see, they don't see each other here at the moment. Right next to each other, basically. Corbin takes him down. So now, basically. Dogs of War, they don't have, have the zone, they, st they still have the spawn, I think. But um, they have lost their M1, and the M1 tank is, uh, the tanks are really important in this map, because if you, um, if you don't uh, have a good strategy and lose them right at the beginning, then uh, you have really much trouble to take the other tank out. The RPGs are uh, only in two boxes near the zones. The, the green 
crosses. So you don't have an RPG uh, gunner right at the beginning of the, of the match. And uh, to take out the tank is uh, really, um, really difficult if you don't have the zones either. And they don't have the zones, they don't have the tank anymore. Sidon is now advancing up the hill, probably to, to, to take out some other rushes with the, from the motorcycles or something like that. He's trying to secure the zone there and from behind. So if you look at the map, the balance of forces uh, is actually kind of kind of weird. We have three hate dogs of war in, in the middle, and uh, most of the HK players in the zone, and I think they still have their spawn. But it's going to be difficult if they keep on losing these uh, these one-on-one -on -one fights, and then they. Then, th then they will probably also lose their spawn because the spawn is parked near the farm there. Coven really goes to work here with the grenade launcher. He's taken out about three people, I think, now. Nice defense up by Corbin, so they've got the zone secured. There's not even a single Dogs of War player on the map. They're all inside the spawn right now. Let's see what they can do. They need to they need to be careful right now and put the pressure on. I don't I don't think that I don't think that HK has, has discovered their spawn yet. Dogs of War must have their spawn still inside, inside the, f the farm there. Because they keep on spawning. Sion just got taken out. Matt has is watching the spawn actually from, from behind so he, he would have no trouble at all to take that spawn out. He's got, he's got his PKM. He could at least shoot the tires or something, but uh, maybe this uh, he's done that. But he's just waiting there to take out one. Yeah, to take out the players one by one, so they can't. Yeah, this this is actually a, a nice tactic if I think about it. Then they just let the spawn stay there, kill everyone who spawns get the points and to prevent the players from bringing up the new spawn while they're holding the zones so you've got uh, some more troubles to get back nice stuff there another kill for Metas. Uh, we can see um, up at the east. Well, it's ba basically already the north there. Uh, Kerberos is advancing, probably looking for the spawn. It is uh, really important that they flank right now and prevent HK from being, uh, being quicker into the game, just spawning at the truck. I think someone is still in the tank there. I can't find out who it is. Or maybe or maybe it's just the tank still being in action, so now one grenade at the spawn. Yeah, now now he's taking the spawn out.
already under fire towards the, the fortress here. Not looking good. Corbin also under fire from uh, from Jolt. I think he's got the sniper rifle somewhere. No, oh, there he is. This could be a nice tactic also, uh, just to keep some pressure on on the fortress that they can't move um, too much away from the zones. Maybe maybe HK knows that they're being attacked from behind right now. Oh yeah, Kebros can see the spawn is positioned very aggressively, basically inside the zone. But I think uh, nobody has told them that you can't respawn at the truck if it's inside the the red zone here. So this 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 respawn is totally useless inside uh, the circle, inside the red circle. And two grenades apparently did the job now. But um, Kavros, now no, no, he's noticed that the spawn is down. Kitki's busy right now. Oh, and Corp oh yeah, Corbin has taken him out. But at least the spawn is down, so if the sniper can do something here. Yeah, he's uh, basically retreating now. But if he if he could hold the position and keep on firing, take out some more HK players, then this would be really a good a good way to distract um, HK for a little while. But they are completely in control of this map. They are positioned with two players around um, the small farm, and they've got two players in the main zone in the fortress. Jolt now took the Humvee. And let's see what this is. Mitchell is is taking a big oh he's taking a big circle here still inside the kill zone. Just to be safe. Jolt Jolt took out Sidon. Nice stuff. Test playing here, the machine gun roll really important. And that wouldn't go anywhere, I think, with this tactic just to drive in. Let's see. On the map, who's who's this down here? There's a there's a DOW player somewhere way down below. Oh yeah, Xion with his Humvee. Sidon brings up the spawn. I think um, if they continue to drive this aggressive tactic then, um, because it looks like as if he's trying to go back up again, then they are in the they will be in for a rude surprise because I th I don't know if if they've even tested this, um, but inside the zone you can't spawn with the truck, so you should keep it outside at least. This is an interesting picture now. The Dogs of War spawn is um, really close to the zone in the in the woods, but positioned very aggressively. I think there that HK knows where it, where it must be. These are really big circles here from 
Dogs of War. Cabros now with a very interesting tactic. Yeah, unfortunately we can't see the the gunner position, but um, he could fire at the tower, and uh, maybe he will take out some uh, campus that way because. Uh, in this map, um, prior in the opposition map, you ha you had two towers and you couldn't destroy them. In this map, you can actually destroy the big tower inside the fortress there, and it's actually a, a tactical move to do that. Um, from up there, you can really see down every direction um, because it's mostly just open spaces, and this is really important um, if you want to root out the campus there and at least deny them one one crucial position. Oh yeah, I can see already there's uh, something going on down here. Mitchell has managed to get close to the zone, he will now d at least deny them the, the points inside the zone. If he can hold the position for just a, f a small time longer, now this is really confusing. Kerberos just rushes inside this, the, the zone. HK somehow very confused and grenade still still not dead yes now he's dead just a little lag Cabros is down Now HK has, has to get back and see what's happening inside the, the zone because Mitchell is still up at the tower, he can take out at least one or two players now, he, they're just on the open fields, he's got a grenade launcher also. We can't get a good perspective here but He's now being attacked from t three sides. Joel takes out Corbin uh, with, uh, with the sniper rifle, I think. That's really surprising because now Sidon finishes him off, but uh, that was really, uh, <laughs> really, di really distracting for HK because uh, actually they had lost the zone. They were not scoring any points anymore. They had to get back. They were they were too far ahead. Kitki healing now at the tent, repositioning themselves. Everyone is now running back to the zone. I think even uh, Matt has is hurt. Yeah, but they will waste a lot of time uh, because everyone is inside the zone now in a panicking uh, <laughs> repositioning move or something. Sidon looking to grab some stuff here, rocket launcher from the ammo box. Now Joel can finally do some damage here with his sniper rifle. Everyone is in the zone. I think we've, we've, got, a, we've got a two man team here in the Humvee. Sidon takes out Kerberos, still, uh, still run advancing inside the zone. I don't picking up the chase. No, 
Oh, that's too late with the rocket launcher here. Sion is basically circling the zone. This is quite a comical display. He's just uh, circling the zone, distracting HK, and it really seems to work. Uh, more Dogs of War players now are able to advance. Basically from behind, and Sidon takes out Xeon finally with the RPG-7. Maybe this was a fatal mistake because they uh, they are all really busy with themselves right now. Probably at the at the medical tent or at the ammo box uh, restocking. Mitchell has got a really bad ping here with two two hundred ping, I think. I think, and so some of his movements are laggy, but. Another nice sniper rifle shot here. Just taking care of Mitchell in a, in a few seconds, but none, none of them seems to bother to find a spawn at the moment because they're just uh, probably trying to discuss what they're doing next. Kerberos now has, a, has another chance to attack the zone from behind them. Maybe some throwing some grenades would help because he, he, he knows they're in there somewhere, so take your chances with some grenades, stir them up a little bit. Sidon, I think now the fourth kill or something with the sniper rifle here. I I don't see that uh, the zone is 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 being contested here. This is still the zone is still red, even though even though Kerberos is inside the zone. I don't know if that's uh, if that's a bug now. Now it seems to have happened. None of the HK players now watching the back. It's just it's just them inside. Kid Keen out looking where, th where they might be. That's, an, that's a good idea to camp there. Sidon has found the spawn, I think. No, it's nowhere in sight. Oh, they left on the, the engine. You can hear the engine of the truck. Oh no, actually the Humvee. But this is enough to tell him where, where the spawn might be, so... Let's see what happens. Oh no, Southern Stone, this is not a <laughs> just too late. He was just about to take out the RPG, I think. I just was busy with the menu here. See what's happening inside the zone. Finally, some action. Kerbos can just fire from the tower here, no problem. Corbin just uh, watches, I think. Holding the position, but also they are not they they're not claiming the zone either because it's still red. So you should get back a little bit. This is a sort of a buggy buggy zone inside this uh, this tower here. So yeah, and if if you're standing just uh, a little bit off the edge, then then you then you're holding the zone also. brings up the spawn even more aggressively. I don't know if that's a good idea. They don't have anyone who's backing up the route to the to the zone and if they're inside the zone again you this this doesn't work. This is just 
nonsensical, I think. Now Xion is bucked <laughs> inside the inside the zone and between the metal tent up up on the wall. <laughs> but actually, Dogs of War is just has just taken it the zone. It I don't know what what HK is doing at the moment. They are inside their spawn, inside the z inside the farm, but not inside the zone. Just too late that Joel took out Kitki again. And uh, Matt Taz is the only one holding the zone. Actually, he's not holding the zone. There's two on one inside the zone right now. This is uh, actually really good now. If they're able to take out Matt Taz, then they would be able to. They would be able to kill the others, which are just on the open field running. And Jolt can actually see them, I think, and he's just probably telling them to do some more there really quickly because because this is actually uh, really important. If you have this position now, you should exploit this. Now Jolt is down. Looks like um, looks like Sion has has finally noticed that the spawn is totally useless inside the zone. So this is uh, something you sh people should have tested because H HK did the same thing again, also with their spawn, and now he has to back up, go outside the zone, and now they can finally spawn. This is <laughs> see, this is. Uh, this might cost them this position or maybe because uh, now we can actually have two flankers which are actually yeah they're flanking side on is flanking and this and the spawn the engine is running it's not as if it's really obvious where it, it is it's totally obvious so if they are not careful now then the spawn goes down and they have to start all over again so on the first grenades Already took it out, I think. So that was not good for Dogs of War. That, that was a big mistake here. And the last, last of them <laughs> goes down also. So now. Dogs of War trying to advance again. H HK hasn't brought the tank up until now. This would be, I think, this would be really a game changer when they when they start to notice that that they can bring their tank very easily. They can position it up at this at the position, and this this would be uh, also really. I think it would be impossible to to just rush past that. You basically have the whole hillside secured from there. And HK has a really weird s spawn position and tactic. They have put the spawn up even more aggressively. Here we go, Sidon and Matt has against Jolt, and of course, this rush couldn't go anywhere at all. Kavros brings the spawn now inside the walls, more more defensive. It's a good idea, but I think that's that's the end of the game. Wow, this is uh, not a good score for Dogs of War. It's 236 to 44 points for HK. So they're leading just short of 200 points.
as expected, um, if you hold the zone for really long, just like HK did, they had, I think, they had the zone uh, um, uninterrupted for about five minutes at least. And then uh, taking out the other jeeps and the spawn also gives you five points. They didn't blow up the M1 though, I think. The M1 would have given them another five points, but they, they just let it sit there. And so they could have had more. But uh, there was a, a good attempt from Dogs of War to to get back. They actually did all the right things, but this this repositioning of the spawn that was really not um, a g uh, something that they needed. They should have known that. And uh, maybe the east side is a little bit stronger here on this side on on this map. So let's see what happens in the second round. Here we are, we are back. This second round um, of the first loser bracket game. The last round was won by HK with just under 200 points. Now HK is playing west and Dogs of War is playing east. We're just following both the spawn drivers. Um, the spawn from Dogs of War is, is really close to one, uh, one HK player. I don't know if he's, he knows where, where the spawn might be, but apparently he's busy doing something else, Kid Key, right now. Misses him still. Exchange of fire, but he gets some Mitchell there. May also be because of the lag, because he's got some a big, a big ping, high ping here. Corbin inside the zone. Corbin takes out Joel from the, from the bunker. Mitchell with a nice grenade shot there. Maybe now you miss missed them. Kiki returning fire and takes him out. Actually, um, Dogs of War really didn't need to do that. They could have just rushed in there. And this is this looks like as if yeah they m just uh, they just moved the spawn a little bit Sion rushes in Kitki takes him out as well this is not a good idea Kebros brings up the T90 tank oh, really defensive way up north Joel is flanking and now Matt has us down. Was it that? I don't know. Nice shot there by Corbin. Doing a nice job there from, uh, from this position. You can uh, have a nice view and you are protected from from the bullets, you can you can look inside the zone and see you have a good overview from there. Also, he's now looking through the bushes or something. I, th I think trying to look through. I don't know if he sees something, but right in front of him, there's Sion advancing. Now he's down. Also, Corbin lays down the law here by himself, basically defending the the zone. Mitchell trying again. And I don't know if they have noticed where, where, Cor where Corbin is, but he doesn't really see it. Mitchell under fire. Oh yeah, there, wa there was...
for Scorpion again. Let's see where they are. Xeon is now advancing from the same position where he got taken out before, so maybe they've learned something. Manages to get near the wall, but uh, if he's not careful, then not th he will basically go down just like the others did. No, that doesn't work. And that's going to be his shot. Yes. Corbin with a friendly kill. He was probably too late with the grenade. Sidon has got the M1, uh, but he's looking down the wrong side of the hill. This is uh, actually a good way to, to take out anyone who might rush or flank on this side of the road, but there's none, none there, so this is a big waste to have one, one tank player, because both, both tanks actually are facing the different sides of the zone and uh, they are on opposite sides of the map also but this is a good tactic now I think um, Kerberos is bombing inside the, uh, the fortress trying to do some damage yes he's shooting the tower there were just two players of each team just a few meters away from each other, I don't know where they, have w where they went. Kerberos gunning away. Sidon also, nothing to do here. Probably better if he changed position because the M1 doesn't have any targets, so what are you gonna do with this? You need to go somewhere else with this. Nice, nice shots there from Matt Hess. He's taken out the spawn from Dogs of War. They are in trouble now. <coughs> Two on one. Corbin takes out another one inside the zone. The zone is clear. Dogs of War is rooted out of the zone again. So the only thing they have left. Must be that tank. This is Sidon, this is Kerberos now flanking with his tank. Sidon's just waiting there for the first motorcycle to come up the hill. Sidon seems to have spotted something there. Switching constantly between gunner and commander's seat. Dogs of War is basically advancing on the street right now. This is gonna be a, not a good ending for him here. Yeah. yeah. Mertes is um, basically making sure that nobody can use the road and looks like as if the spawn is being driven here by Joel, yes. Um, this would be a, a good tactic if they knew where the tank is, but um, 
Sidon's Sidon's inside the tank, uh, and you will you will see this their spawn very soon. Oh, the grenade got caught on the bushes. Matas is now near the spawn. He can easily take out the spawn now. Sidon takes out Xion, and now I think they are. Spawn is down. It's um, so far that's a really solid play here from HK. At least you can you can say that. Dogs of War they don't um, have have many chances to disrupt their play. This is um, mostly a very a very easy way to. Um, to hold the zone by positioning one MG gu gunner right on the street and the tank is basically uh, um, in a more defensive position so this is also you, you can't really do anything wrong here but dogs of war they have lots of problems they need to oh Kairos actually now is finally getting to work here He's putting some pressure on inside the zone. Corbin is proning, he's trying not to get caught. And Sidon is onto the case now. He wants to challenge Kerberos from, from his position because um, the longer he stays there, the more trouble he can cause, and this is not a good way. And the spawn is, is being brought up again by Dogs of War, and I think it's Sion again. They haven't uh, changed their tactic, the spawn is basically in the same side of the road. Now he's circling a kind of a bigger bigger perimeter but uh, Matt has is, is on to him and now he uh, even sees him Sidon is busy so he doesn't pay attention to that oh actually he does So, Dogs of War lost their third spawn now, I think. They have they have five spawns, so each team has five spawns. And HK hasn't lost one spawn until now, I think, so... Now Jolt is uh, actually inside the zone. At least he took out Corbin and they've, they've taken the zone. Maybe also a, n a nice way to cause some trouble because HK is basically down uh, down the hill not even near the zone they've got the spawn inside the small farm there and Corbin is coming back Grenades here from Corbin. None of them moving, uh, basically waiting. What are they waiting for? I don't know. At least Copen has to move. He has to. Um, or ma maybe he's waiting to uh, to breathe out. His aim will be better then. Mm. 
Nice shot there. Basically the first shot already killed him. Easy victory here for HK. They've got the zone back. Dogs of War is not really using their tank as they should be. They are they are able to lay down the firepower, but they are not able to make to profit from from the distraction because down below below from the from the fortress you, uh, HK is, has three players, and they, you could just circle around them and um, really uh, drive the spawn the opposite way, just to the north and not down to the south where they have all the players. Matt has basically, I think he missed um, two of the motorcycles. We're able, we're able to rush through inside the zone again. Nice shot there through the trees from Matas. And Mitchell got taken out also by Kiski. He was up at the tower, I think. No, he was down below. And this is the fourth spawn now for Dogs of War. They are now they are finally going north. But if they're not careful, Matt Hess is gonna have a field day here with his 50 caliber machine gun. And he's already seen the spawn. He's under fire himself. If he's not careful, then this will go wrong. From both sides now. He's got no wheels anymore. This is, this is bad. And now he's finally down. Very aggressive tactic. This actually works for them at the moment. So they've got nothing to lose. Spawn positioned very aggressively. Kerberos is down now. I think... Um, Sidon finally took care of him. Well, now they can basically position the spawn anywhere they want to. And uh, drive them back just with the tank. You can put the tank up at the top or near the street, and they don't have any chance to take it out if they're not near the zones. Because the, in the zones, you have the RPG. And nowhere else. So once once your own tank is down and the other tank is still in action, you have some really big problems. And I don't know if they have the SPG9 Jeep, but if they do, they need it right now. Has under fire now from yeah from Jolt takes him out. Xion now now can at least advance inside the zone to stop them from scoring. This is Xeon's tactic of running in the open space and a tractor is coming from HK and Corbin takes him out very easily but uh, he's being uh, flanked from down below very interesting Oh, Mitchell there. I think I think it was his ping that prevented him from from killing Corbin. The Corbin is hurt. Dogs of War is really using that spawn here to go ahead, but Matt has 
has now discovered where they're coming from. So if if he holds this position, they don't they don't stand a big chance running directly into the zones here. And Sidon is circling around. I think Sidon is now looking for the spawn. He's he's a little bit too far north to find it. Kitsky and Corbin basically holding the zones. No trouble being caused here. Is this Cabros probably maybe he has the SPG9? Yes he does. And it's really needed right now, so HK holding the zones here very solid. But um Jolt has managed to slip up from under behind from from behind the zone here. If he's now careful then he can take out Kitki, yeah, he sees him. Nice shot there and basically taking out Corbin is not that hard at this though because he's yeah, he's taking him out. Because he's always at the same position there. This is not a nice tactic again, so they Sidon has spotted the, the spawn and he can now uh, fire at it at will. Yeah, this spawn is not gonna move if even Montai is down, so you just keep it alive. And now because the M1 is basically holding the spawn down, anyone who who will spawn there can't do anything at all because they don't have an RPG either. The only one who could do something is Corbin here with this Jeep. He seems to be stuck. No, he's no, no, no. He can't move anymore because it, the tire has burst here. This is not a good a good way here to finish this map. This is not very good. They need this. Ar they, need, they need this jeep really badly right now, and he has somehow crashed the jeep into something, and the tire is down. This jeep is not going anywhere. Still trying. I don't know. They don't want to give up here with this jeep, but it's hopeless. You can't do anything from there. Mitchell and I think it was Jolt They're driving past the zone, totally past this. Now maybe they can take out HK's spawn because it's right at the small farm there. Yeah, this is gonna be an easy kill. I wouldn't waste any 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 time here. I just I just kill the spawn because you just need the points. You just really need the points. too risky to, to let the spawn just sit there because uh, if, if they kill you and you are down then you're in trouble oh yeah Mitchell has got the RPG maybe he wants to take care of business now no he doesn't he's already being fired at Kitki knows where where they are Mitchell takes him out. Uh. So
so far very good game from HK they took both 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 rounds they're able to take those zones with no trouble they've held the zones for quite a few oh yeah this is, this is not, not a good way to play this tactic here I don't know what what he was doing Finally, I would just end it here and just kill the, the spawn because the, the last player, Mitchell, has got the RPG. And why don't you just kill the spawn? At least you have one thing out of out of the way. Now he's taking some grenade shots, and he now 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 he saw his uh, his opponent. He's gonna try to take him out there, but and he loses this one. He now defended the zone by himself. And Dogs will have to start up all over again. Oh no, the M1 is advancing. I think he just missed the. He just missed the jolt there. Side on easy play here with the UAZ. Now I don't know how he died, but Sidon, <laughs> Sidon took him out of the machine gun there, not, not killed him. HK collecting some points here, destroying the enemy motorcycles, they get one point for that also. And while he's doing that, he actually misses the spawn, is down there, just, just above the hillside there, you can see it. Getting into position. Bros, uh, he's not gonna park this pawn there, is he? He, he actually does. No. This is a desperate tactic here from Dogs of War. He's actually hunking the horn now because this is a, a distraction tactic, I would say. Sacrificing their spawn, they've got at least a few players down below. was a nice grenade from Kitki here. Two grenades, spawn is down. Carebros is down. The M1 is still in action, side on moving at will basically. Taking out two players. This this is not a good sign here. Sidon misses him with the with the main gun but gets him with the machine gun so easy play for HK Yeah Dogs of War is basically called good game here I think frustrating or just having fun just shooting each other I don't know how much time we've left but um, the HK has clearly won this round now so that was actually a Easy game for HK. They've now even got, well, they've now got uh, at least uh, basically nearly 300 points more than uh, Dogs of War.
they had the better tactic. HK really had um, a good offen offensive tactic. They had a good coordination in this match. They had uh, a nice, some really nice shots. And uh, the most important thing I think is they had the tank at the end. The tank just uh, gave them everything. And Dogs of War lost the tank in the first round, also. So this uh, it was really a, a nice game though.